I'm going to face the microphone towards us. It usually week. works better like that, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, party people. Welcome to The Breakdown with Nathan Johnny. It's a big day. It's a big occasion. It's a big moment. Oh. I, really, I really wish we started this and you went... Good morning. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. I was just too excited because Aussie heavy hitters, the grandfathers of metalcore, we'll now call them. They're not that old. They're 40. They're my age. So, but Oh, they're ancient. Have you got any old footage of them, like in like old timey vehicles or anything? I'm sure McGee could edit something, but <laughs> no, yeah, you're right. Parkway are kind of OG in the metal space in Australia, um, and they've been leading from the front for a very long time. This is the first thing they've come back with in four years, I think. Yeah, far out. That's so, it's, and it seems like it's gone super quick because it feels like Reverence didn't come out that long ago. It's but then it's like still relevant. That's why. Yeah. Well, on that, there's been a little bit of I don't know what. It's kind of torn the metalcore community apart a little bit like the last. Yeah, just because of Parkway Drive straying from their standard metalcore roots. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get a little bit more of the same, but maybe progressing a bit. So who knows? Or it might just be straight up metalcore. It won't be straight up metalcore. They're, they're not a straight up metalcore band anymore. And I think they'll never go back to that sound. It's Yeah, fully. Otherwise, that's just regression for the sake of regression. Exactly. Hey, thanks for being here. Stoked to see you guys. If you guys want to like and subscribe, that'd be wicked. We can actually see you. We've got cameras set up in all of your <laughs> yeah. homes, phones, computers, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, like, subscribe, that'd be great. And if you're new here and you're not already creeped out, hey, stick around. We'll creep you out even more. I'm not excited for this. I'm going to make it full screen. Okay. Yeah, do that. A three, two, one. Parkway drive glitch. Let's go. Ooh, before we get into it, we have merch. Nope. You got to, uh, yeah, it's cold here in Australia now. People and are like, oh, does it get cold in Australia? Yep. I mean, it's not like, it, it's funny though, we have people like, if I put up on like a story and say, oh, it's really cold today, and someone says, how cold is it? I'm like, it's like four degrees, it's freezing. And they're like, <laughs> try like minus 22. And I'm like, nope, fuck yeah, that shit up. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Nope. <laughs> God, he looks good for his age. What are you trying to say, man? You could look that good. Oh. Fuck yeah, Rift City, that classic Parkway trail off. That sounded oh, so vice grippy, that lot, that guitar. Like, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of teddy bears. Go. Oh. That's sick. Okay. Interesting. A bit of a clean vocal from like an actual clean vocal. Like an actual clean vocal. I really like that he ha you can hear that he has an Australian accent. That he hasn't tried to be, like he hasn't tried to put on a, a sitting voice or something else. Yeah, yeah it, it actually is. Yeah, I love the tone course. in that chorus as well. Like, the, it's cool to hear him try some cleans out, like some actual cleans. But um, yeah, the tone of the the main chorus melody is is cool. It's it gritty, does it's have heavy. a lot of like reverence vibes in that. Yeah, fully. Yeah, <laughs> but it's it's stadium yeah. metal now, and I'm okay with it. Oh, imagine that a stadium. That's all they play in now. <laughs> oh, wet feet. This groove is so sick in this bit. I'm also, this film, do you know this scene was actually directed by Matthew McConaughey? Because it's a white, a white, a white. Oh, fuck, jeez. Yeah, okay. I'll give him that one. Oh, 
Cool hearing the lead guitar. Yeah. Hearing the verse too. Fuck, this video is incredible. Oh. I like how that riff is like the common running theme through the whole song, it's cool. Oh, work it. Fuck, get your Rammstein on. <laughs> oh, he's in a hand. Cool. Imagine this life. Oh, I'm feel sick. Do we get a neck snapper? Let me know. Let me know. Oh, I think it's coming. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me the fuck. Woo! Hell yeah! Oh, they love some fire. Yeah, that's sick. Ooh, yes! Is going on there. I'm gonna take it back here Winnie for this boy. One. Uh, very bottom feeder esque breakdown. Yeah. In the build, the build, the build, the build, big drop. Yeah, like still, it's a little less metalcore in yeah. that sense, but I think they're doing it well. Like it's cool. It had heaps of drive. Yeah, I like that. It was also very drawn out. Like there was a big build. Yeah, for sure. I like that. Uh, I will take it back here to the 345 mark. 345. <laughs> Just such a reason to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Super tight, bump, 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 finish perfect for stadiums. Yeah, the boys are back and they're doing what they do and what they've been doing for two albums. And I'm all right with it. I would love to see that drum riser on stage. Imagine how you, you know what? that would be. Don't put it past it. No, fully. The yeah. boys have like, over the last few years, have really stepped it up. And look, we could argue fucking about the whole metalcore thing until we're blue in the face. There's just some people that are not gonna be happy. Sorry, so you sound so Australian. We can argue fucking just, how to put that filler word in that sounds so Australian. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. absolutely right. People are gonna argue about this until they're blue in the face. And it's like- What's the comment section saying? Uh, it's all positive at the start. Well, I've only, yeah, I haven't, like, because obviously I haven't um, listened to the track before this. I've only seen people talking about it in groups and stuff on Facebook. And there's, like, a lot of people still going, this band was dead to me after Atlas and Bring Back Horizons. And this sounds like it's uninspired. And that gets me when people say this sounds like it's uninspired. Because people are fucked. People are fucking stupid. I'm sorry, people are dumb as dog shit. You can't sit there, there's another restraint. Yeah, I hate it, that's yeah. Really, yeah. <laughs> Look, you, you can sit there and say, oh, I prefer Horizons Killing With A Smile, I like the metalcore sound, that's better for me. That's cool, that's fine, enjoy that. But you can't sit there and 
listen to a song by a band like Parkway Drive who have always given their fucking heart and soul to music and say, that's uninspired and that's cookie cutter and that's just by the numbers. You don't know why they've written it. You don't know what their interpretation is and, and why they've done it. But I can guarantee you a band that is so meticulous and committed to their craft like Parkway have not gone, let's just slap some riffs together and release it just because we can fucking sell it. Let's be generic, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, there's no fucking way. They're writing what they want, they're playing what what they want and it obviously makes them happy and means something to them that's the thing I want to touch on right now making them happy because that's the exact opposite so they were supposed to have a big uh, American tour that they had to cancel due to mental health issues and that song lyrically I don't know if you took that in but it was a lot to do with yeah a lot of anxiety and self-doubt and depression and kind of having that take over um, and I think it's kind of cool they're addressing that so clearly and openly through this I mean that's obviously first listen so the more we listen to that the more you get from it but yeah, totally. I think it's cool they're using their platform and the lead single of hopefully something new coming um, to address that which is cool 100% film yeah. clip was wicked film clip was incredible it was, I, and you know what like just having Parkway back and the excitement of hearing a new Parkway song probably in a way might have taken a little bit of the impact of how good the music video was for me because oh, I was right. just like I just I don't know maybe I was just listening to it and enjoying it too much to actually pay full attention I do love how they did the the whole stadium fire vice grip esque thing at the end there it's become kind of a staple also they, they with the like water fire. though like the black water yeah. ankle deep like that was sick and that like lead into that bit where Winston sort of jumped into the frame yeah that was wicked that was so cool um, well, that's another thing I wanted to touch on I thought when it was the at the end there where it was the whole band the aesthetic was really cool like and the like the juxtaposition of the fire against all that black and them all having that black aesthetic and and I really like how Winston has sort of even with his outfits and his persona and his mannerisms on stage has not been afraid to step outside just another dude playing heavy shit on stage like he's really owning it he's owning he's this front, persona man. yeah I mean they've Fantastic. been doing it long enough now and they, they do pride themselves in their live show yeah what did you guys think of that as Johnny said I guess there's going to be some people that are going to miss the old parkway but I say get a life get into it because that was sick uh, I'm really excited to see more from that and that's going to be so big live it's can you imagine life. That's going to track yeah. one because they're flawless a lot, but that's going to translate to such a big anthemic song. And that's the other thing. This band is monstrous, arguably one of the biggest metal bands in the world. They don't play small venues where the sound is nice and tight and locked into a room. Super fast metalcore like, does not translate as well in a 50, 80, 100,000 capacity stadium. Mm -hmm. This stuff does. It, it comes across well. It opens them up to a whole new, you know, a whole new myriad of fans and, and different... Oh, myriad. Good word. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, that's yeah. sick. I, I, look, I don't need, didn't even know if it actually fit. I just used it because I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said Miriam. <laughs> what did you guys think? Comment below those thoughts. Thanks for watching. If this is your first time here, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out some of our other videos. There's a whole bunch on there. And we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Love you. I don't know what you're doing there. I was waiting for you to wrap it up because I was going to go, peace. But oh, you kind of just kept going. I'm sorry about you that. You did it, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs>